Hello, everybody. Hi, Louise. Welcome to Stampin' All Day with Bev. I was running a little bit behind today. Um, I thought some things were done that weren't done, so I had to catch up. Hi, Donna. Hi, Annie. It's in a few minutes for everybody to jump on. So page 16, I believe it is, we're going to work from today. Let me look. Yes, page 16. If Hi, Diane. You make it home safe or are you on the road still? Hi, Jody. Thank you. Thank you for all of you who are coming to visit me. It's Stampin' All Day with Bev on Facebook Live. And for those of you who watch the replay YouTube on my channel, Beverly Morales. If you would follow on YouTube and subscribe, I mean, follow on Facebook and um, subscribe on YouTube, that would be awesome. Hi, Joan. Okay, looks like we've got a few people jumping on, so we'll get started. Thank you for sprinkling, Annie. Today is May 1st. Happy May Day. So, we have to announce winners um, of last week's card. Hi, Bev. And winners of the month, of the prize of the month. And so, let's do that right now. Let me grab them. They're right here. Okay. So, let me see. I probably should... Hi, Rosemary. I probably should turn you guys down to my desk now that everybody's on. Sorry, I was a little bit late. Okay, let's turn down. Oh good, you're home, Diane, good. Okay, there we go. There's last week's, last Tuesday's card. So we have a winner for that. Let's see who she is. Patty, my friend Patty. Yippee, yay, Patty, congratulations. Patty, I don't know if I have your address. Hi, Sandy. So can you please PM that to me and I will send you this card. Hi, Kathy. So congratulations. Hello, Brenda. All right, here is my host code for May. Hi, Roz. And here, that's my host code for May. And this is my link to my shop. And then if you need to get a hold of me for anything, you can email me there. I will get that right away. And then there's my YouTube channel also. All right. We have a winner for the month. Anyone who placed an order for me in the month of April got their name, let me see, those are, got their name put in the spinning wheel for the chance to win Wink Estella and the Take Your Pick Putty Refill. So the winner is going to get both of those items. And the winner is Janet Dooley. Congratulations, Janet. I know she's going to be thrilled to have Wink Estella. I don't think she has it yet, but I'm not positive. So congratulations to all the winners. And thank you to all my friends for being here. There you are, Janet. I didn't see your name before. Yippee. Yay. Okay. So page 16, is that what I said on if you have the annual catalog and you want to look at the stamp set and uh, dyes, bottled happiness. But today I'm only going, I'm not dyes, punch. It's a bundle, it's, it's got a punch. And today I'm gonna use the larger bottle and the punch. And then I'm also going to use the um, contour, scallop contour dyes. I know most of my customers have these. Hi, Jean. So um, you guys will be happy that you have these. I do use these a lot. They're one of my favorites. 
I'm gonna use some black cardstock just to lay some of my project on so you can see better. Hey, Debbie, there you are. How are you? And I'm also gonna use for the back of my cards, I love, this is a new stamp set. I didn't look at the page it's on, but it's called Limited Edition. And it's super cute to have to stamp on the back of your card so your um, recipients will know that you hand stamped or made these with love or it's a paper hug. Look at all the cute things it says. So I'm going to use that too, if I remember. I'm going to put it here, try my best to remember. I am going to use some adhesive sheet. I'm going to use the brushed brass butterflies. Stays on ink, Momento ink in black. A couple of our in color, last year's in colors, uh, or their 21, 23 in color opal rounds. And a little bit of this seam binding ribbon, which you guys all know is one of my favorite ribbons. Okay, I'm gonna be using window sheets and I think that's it. So here is a piece of window sheet. Get the static off of that. And that's why I have the black paper underneath here because it's shiny. See that? And you guys will be able to see it better on the camera because of the black paper. On white, it's hard to see. I'm going to be using a piece of the designer series paper and I decided to use the um, same paper I was using last week. What's the name of it? I covered up the name of it, so let me get it here. Of course, the cardboard's turned around backwards. There we go. Hues of happiness. I couldn't remember. That's the designer series paper. It's with the um, suite that I was using three times in a row because I couldn't stop playing with it. Well, evidently, I'm still playing with the DSP. So let me put this all back in the pack so I can stay a little somewhat organized. So, bottles. I really like this set, but I was a little perplexed because bottles are clear. And I like antique bottles and they turn color with age like a purple tone. And, um, so I was really intrigued with this bottle set, so I got it right away. So um, that's why I'm using the window sheets because I wanted my bottle to be clear. So the DSP, I'm using the back side, what I call the tie-dye side or the colored side or the other side. This is a fun fold. So we're using a piece of white. I'm using a piece of white cardstock cut at nine and a half long by four and a quarter wide, and then I'm gonna score it at a half inch, one and a quarter inch, two inch, and two and three quarter inch. Okay, I already did this side, but I'm gonna do this side when you're watching. And then for my base, I have another piece of DSP that's five and a quarter by four, and then here is the base, which is a quarter inch bigger both ways, five and a half by four and a quarter, okay? So let's start with the easiest part, which is the base. And all we have to do is glue the DSP onto the base like that. So I'm gonna do that right now. Get my other pieces back in my envelope so they don't get lost. Okay, so the weather was windy here again today, and I felt so bad for my next door neighbor. She, she had a wedding shower yesterday in her backyard, 
and it was so windy and it was outdoors. I haven't talked to her yet, but I hope it went well. Today was windy too, and then all of a sudden tonight, it has calmed down, and I'm so grateful for that. Now it's absolutely beautiful, but the backyard's a mess because of all the leaves and things that got blown around, so we have to clean that up tomorrow. So there you go for your base. Would you like to see the card? Let me show you the card so you can understand as you're following along. Now, I, hi, Margo, how are you? It was so nice seeing your face yesterday. Um, thank you for coming to the party. So I wanna show you this card because I really like the idea of a clear bottle instead of a stamped bottle in color, which is also nice, but my very first try was gonna be a clear bottle. So here is my card. It's a fun fold. And look at the bottle. The bottle is clear and it has dried flowers inside of it. What do you guys think? Hi, Lynn. I see some hearts, so I'm glad you like it. I absolutely love this idea. My goodness, it just came to my head in the middle of the night one night and I thought, I wonder if I could put dried flowers into the clear bottles. How on earth would I be able to do that? It took a little bit for me to figure it out, but I did. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that you're happy with it too. So let's get started with this. Now, um, oh good, I'm glad you guys are liking it. Okay, so let me put this on the side here. These are the types of flowers I grabbed from my backyard. I don't know how to pronounce that correct probably, so I'm just gonna show you the type they are because you guys are probably gardeners and know this is a very um, common plant that a lot of people have. So it worked very well with this project. Okay, so here's my base. Here's my black to work on. And here we'll start with the bottle. Okay, so this is how I did it. I took the punch, alyssum, is that how you, okay, thank you. I, I was, I didn't know for sure how to pronounce it, so I wasn't even gonna struggle with it. So I'm just taking a window sheet and I'm punching out um, a bottle. So I think, can you guys see it on the black? I'm trying to see through the camera. Yeah, you can see it on the black better than if I had it just on white. And I already cut out another bottle just in case I make a boo-boo so we don't have to start all over. And then you're going to take your um, adhesive sheets and you're gonna uh, cut out another bottle. I mean, you're gonna put another piece of um, window sheet on here, a strip. This is two inches wide. So let me get some more window sheet. And my paper trimmer. And I'm going to cut a piece two inches for to put onto the um, adhesive sheets. Okay, so now you just take your adhesive sheet. I'm gonna cut both of these down the length I need them so I don't have to work with so much paper. Hi, Carol, thanks for watching. I'm just gonna take my snips this time. And measure a little bit longer than my actual bottle. And cut that down, okay. Okay, so here's the top, and then here is going to be the back. So for the adhesive sheets, you just have to, if there's not a um, seam there that you can see and pull off, just go to the corner and peel it apart. Pull the paper backing off. 
paper backing, of course, is not sticky. This piece is sticky here. You're gonna set it down. And I use the paper backing that's not sticky to kind of hold it there so I can get my fingers away. That takes a little bit of doing there. Okay, there we go. All right. So then you take your window sheet and you place it on top of the sticky. And then you go back to your punch. And you punch that out. Then again, you take off the paper and this back bottle will be full of adhesive. Hi, Irene. Okay. So now you go to your flower of choice and you just lay it down to see how much you want on your bottle. And because this bottle is sticky already, these leaves are going to lay down and stay wherever it is you push them down. So cool, is that so cool? All right, if you just wanted greens, like an olive oil green, you could do that. Here's some of my alyssum. This is a little bottle, so I'm just going to each one's going to be different, but see how that sticky just grabs it? Just push them down with your scissors or your take your pick tool. And I just play with it to see how much I want on here. Hi, Beverly. Welcome. Get that pressed down. And then you take the, this bottle needs to be stamped. I was almost gonna put it on there, but I need to stamp it first. Okay, what do we stamp that with? We stamp, Cookie, you're the one with the garden club, right? I think. Oh my gosh, you think your garden people are gonna love this? So you're gonna take the outline stamp of the bottle and um, stays on ink because all our other inks will not stay on this window sheet, only stays on, Will, like it says, like the name says, it stays on. Ink on my fingers and I don't wanna mess this up. Yes, 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 they will. I think they will. Okay, so this little part here can, can be tricky the stamping on this, this one here. So I'm gonna pull it, I want you to see, but I'm gonna pull it down so I'm not looking right over the camera. Can you see? Yeah, okay. So you're gonna ink it up and make sure that your um, stays on pad is very well inked up. Um, here is the refill. I always suggest if you get the stays on ink pad that you just automatically get the stays on refill because these need to be re refilled more often than a normal pad. And then it comes with this plastic cover. You want to always put that back on and then the lid when you close it, it helps it to stay um, wet. Okay, so with this, it's not hard to stamp with with paper, but with this clear window sheet and this camera, I'm gonna do my best to get this outline right on the window sheet. I'm gonna press like I've always taught you. And then I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna peel it off because the stays on is very, very sticky. And then right here where it doesn't have any ink, I hold on to it. See, now I have the outline of the bottle So far, so good. Now this is wet still, because I just stamped it. So I, if I were you, I would let it dry. Hi, Debbie Jenquero. But because we're on live, I'm just gonna continue on. 
and I'm gonna press these two bottles together and I'm pressing where there's no ink because like I just told you, it's still wet. So now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to go from the back side and I'm just going to press the edges so that they stay closed. And I have a bottle with dried flowers in it. Now these little adhesive white spots that you see here that just reminds me, I have a whole bunch of bottles behind me, but they're way up high and they're vintage. They, my dad had them and gave them to me years and years and years ago. They have the cloudiness like that. So this is an old vintage bottle to me. That's the look I'm going for. And so that adhesive did not bother me at all. There you go, look at that. Hi, Terry. And I've been told over and over and over, I was told yesterday, I've been told by people that come over here that your projects look even 10 times better in person. So I'm trying to give you the best view I can. All right, so let me put this over here so I don't lose it and let's get making the card base. Okay, so I said it was nine and a half long and four and a half wide, I mean four and a quarter wide, and we're gonna score it a half inch, one and one quarter, two and two and three quarter inch. So I already did this side, so I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna do the other side. Look how pretty this looks. Oh my gosh, you could put it anywhere. Looks like the bubble that was formed in the making of a vintage bottle. Yes, exactly. Okay, so let's go to half inch on my cutting tool. And we're gonna score. So let's move the cutting blade out of the way and score. Then I'm gonna move over to one and a quarter and I'm gonna score again. Then I'm gonna scoot to two and two and three quarters. Okay, this is where we're going to burnish. Oops, I already burnished that side. This is the side I just did, so let me burnish that. Pretty cool, you guys. I thought it was pretty cool. I was thrilled that it worked. I was, I had a few times that, you know, it didn't work and I had to think of something else, but I'm so happy we have those adhesive sheets. All right, so now here's the other DSP that's three and three quarters by four. So that fits right in the middle of the two last score lines. I'm gonna flip it up like this so you can see that it fits right in there like that, okay? So now, how do we get the window? On the white piece, we're gonna use this die. It's the smaller of the two. We want the white cardstock to have the smallest window in it here. And then the DSP, we're gonna use the larger die. And what I'm doing right now, just to try to get some even, so, so I taped this down. So that's where I'm gonna cut it. So now to try to get this somewhat even, I'm laying this down and I'm feeling where the die is underneath there and I'm placing this one over it. And I think that should get us pretty close. So now we're just gonna go over to, oh my gosh, it keeps catching my eye over here. I think it's so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to my <clears throat> die cutting machine. 
Actually, I'll bring it over here. This one. No questions so far? Don't see any. Thank you, Diane. Now I'm going to remove and I'm going to save these. Thank you guys for another project, probably on Tuesday. So I just love these dies as you guys do too, I know. And then this one here. And I will save this pink also. Look how pretty that is. This could even just go, look, look how pretty that is. Oh. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to my glue. Let me see if I should do this now. Yeah, I can. doesn't really matter if you do it now or do it later. Put some glue on both ends. It's your favorite, yeah, it, it is a favorite die set. It is just uh, wonderful. It makes everything so happy. I just used it with um, the new, um, what's the name of that set? Bird, sweet, sweet Songbird. Oh my gosh, it's adorable with Sweet Songbird. Okay. All right, so now we're going to fold up this part these score lines here. So this is the the, uh, the flap that holds everything together and the half inch line. So we're gonna start by putting our glue there. And you guys know that I've always said to put your glue down and let it set up to avoid slipping and sliding and all that type of thing. When you're making 3D projects, or when it's important that you get things straight. If you let it start to set up, Archana, hi, welcome. Um, if you let it start to set up, it's not dry and it's not hard to, you can still move it around. It's not gonna be set, set. So I just let it set up for a few seconds so I can work with it easier. So I'm gonna bend this down and I'm gonna hold this up like this because I want you guys to, um, to know that see how this is wonky shape right here, right now? We need to make sure that it is a square. See that? I just pulled it out and made it a solid square. Turn it over, see it's wonky. It's not, and wonky is a word, but pull it out and make sure it's an even, square. And because I let it set up, I don't need anything to hold that. It's just going to hold by itself. Same thing here. Just bend it, bend it in, bend them all around, stand it up. And then just see it's too wide at the bottom. It's not even, so push it in till you get an even square, turn it over, push it in until you've got a nice square. And then you can take your bone folder and push it in here. 
and everything will hold solid. Okay, now we want to, because we let it set up, it's okay to bend it down to make sure it folds and goes into an envelope. I would get it used to folding right now before you attach it to the card just to make sure it all works and you don't get it attached to the card and then it doesn't work. Isn't that cool? Okay, so let's come here, put this here. We're almost done, but I'm going to put more glue here and here and let it set up again. I want you guys to get in that habit. If you get in that habit, you'll love it. And now, while this is setting up, I'm gonna take the words in the set, sending a little message, a message in a bottle. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp it about a little high and towards the middle. I'm just guessing. Ooh. Okay. And then turn this over and try to center this piece to the base. And then the top and the bottom even. Bottoms even. And we've got, see there where, oh, see there where it didn't stay? Okay, let's get this to stay. Give it a little bit more time to dry before I start pressing on it. That's what I shouldn't have done. Okay, well that's drying. Now I'm going to take, now this dries clear. So I'm just going to put a little bit right there. And also you could let that set up. But for time's sake here, I'm going to go ahead and just add it. There. See how it wiggles because I didn't give it time to set? Give it time to set and it won't do that wiggling on you. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to take some ribbon and I'm going to make a little tiny bow. I just thought it needed one more little something. So we'll try. I see how tiny my bow was. Um, I think, well, it's not set. What I did was I went underneath there and held onto the bottle because it was set on this, this one. But this is still wet, so I know it's just going to keep coming off. So I'm just going to make my bow, and then I'm going to stick it onto the bottle with a mini glue dot. That'll work too. So I'm going to pull it tight. That's way too big. So I'm just going to pull the legs and get the bow small. Side two. Pull again. I'm patient with this. It's about well, the only thing on earth I'm patient with, but I'm patient with this because it rewards me by looking pretty. A little bit smaller. Okay, that'll work. All right, now I'm going to angle the end. And I'm going to go to a mini glue dot. I am going to stick the knot of my bow right on the mini glue dot. Press my thumb in there very hard and then pull it all off together. The mini glue dot's a little bit bigger than the knot, so I'm going to fold it under. Then I'm going to put my hand underneath the bottle because I'm still afraid it's not quite dry yet and squeeze with my middle finger and my thumb. And there we go. Isn't this a pretty, pretty card? Now let's see, see there, now it's folding down to go in an envelope. You won't have any problem. Hi, Pat, welcome. Alrighty, so what did you guys think? 
I will throw the measurements of the base, uh, this, this here, this is the base. So um, this piece here is, is nine and a half by four and a quarter. Score both ends at a half, one and a quarter, two, two and three quarters. Okay, that's what you need to know. And then um, the base was five and a half by four and a quarter. That's this piece. The DSP on top of the base was five and a quarter by four. And the DSP here is three and three quarters by four. Oh, thank you for all the hearts I wasn't even looking at. Darn it, I missed them all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so on Tuesday, remember there's my link and there's my host code. On Tuesday, I will be back at two o'clock in the afternoon. And oh, I'm gonna stand one up so you can see what it looks like from the top. I didn't do the back. I told you I'd forget. So this piece, look at the back of this one. I can do it still. Let's see, I don't have a bigger piece or do I? I don't have a bigger piece made. So let me do this smaller piece. That'll work too. Shoot, I told you, I said I'll forget and I sure as heck did. All right, so this set here. Limited edition, hand stamped, a paper hug. I like that. Let's do a paper hug. Um, a paper hug. A block here. Now this is a cling stamp, rubber stamp. So I'll go to my memento. Yes, the paper is so pretty. You're absolutely correct. Paper hug. Both sides of it is really pretty, Jean. Okay, so paper hug. But if you use a bigger um, die cut, then you have more room to write. Or you can write here. Um, you can fold it down and do your writing. So either way. So let's get some glue on this one. And throw this on. I love this die because it has a slit here and I usually put ribbon through there and tie a bow. Super cute. Okay, so now I'm done. Any questions before I head out? I forgot the butterfly too. Okay, it's my forgetful day. I'm not tired. I don't know why I'm forgetting. So I'm gonna take my take my pick tool and get a butterfly. See, that just adds. Maybe I'll just add another one too. And if I add two, I have to add three, don't I? We have to have odd numbers. I like that. Here I use the little gems. So you can use either one or both or all, but I like the three butterflies like that. Love the colors of both cards. Good. I'm glad. And it's the back side of that Hues of Happiness 12 by 12 designer series paper. Again, standing one up and laying one down so you can see them. If you're coming to open house on Thursday, you will see them in person. So let me think, let me know what you think of my idea there. You can put in the comments, um, whatever you think about that. I love it myself. All right, ladies, have a nice week. We will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.